Hi YouTube, my name is Paul. Hope you're all keeping well. I thought today I'd do episode 3 of my collection videos um, and today I'm going to talk about my 3 inch floppy. So let me just grab hold of it. So this is my 3 inch floppy disk based games collection. So I only ever know of known of two systems that use these and one is the Sinclair Spectrum Plus 3 and the other one was the Amstrad CPC range of computers. I'm sure there's more, maybe the PCW used them, I don't really know but those were the two main systems, so you can play these on the 6128 or the 6128 Plus, you can play them on the 664 or you can play them on the uh, CPC 464 with an external disk drive. So I've always been curious about these and I thought to myself, Do you know what, I'd love to have a system which used them. So being a Spectrum lad back in the day, the natural progression for me would have been the Plus 3. Um, but I thought to myself, actually, I'll try it on a different system, uh, which is the Amstrad. The system I got is a 6128. Uh, they can also work on my 6128 plus but I decided for the Amstrad system because a the library is bigger um, because the system has been around a couple of years before the plus three which means they're readily available which they're not because they're bloody hard to get but they're more common than the plus three um, they've also got the AY chip tunes whereas a lot of the spectrum games were straight port overs from the 48k so you've got the beeper chip instead or beeper tunes um, but yeah, and also because the Amstrad isn't the machine I had back in the day, so I was quite happy to, to have one and to sample all the delights on the machine. So I chose to go for this. So a pretty casual collection, so something I don't buy or don't sort of target myself with a limit or anything like that. It's based on any curiosities that come up or any bargains. So I've got about 50 games on the system, so it's not a vast collection, but like I said, I do buy them sporadically. Um, so I'm going to show you the games in a bit, but before that I'll talk about my 6128 and I'll hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next part. Well here she is, my CPC 6128, an ain't she a beauty. Uh, not long ago cleaned it up to be honest and replaced the drive belt. Um, as you can see, front loading, uh, 3 inch disc goes straight in there, so pretty standard. Um, 128k machine was initially released in the USA before it got released in the UK and aimed at the business market um, again released in 1985 I think it came out in the UK the back end of 1985 299 pound with a green screen 399 pound with a color monitor um, and in this example I'm using the uh, modulator so one thing to watch out for this one is an MP2 I used an MP1 and I thought there was an issue with my disk drive until I realised there's a power source that goes from the MP2 into the Amstrad. So, yeah, I panicked and thought my machine was broken, but in fact, I used the wrong blinking MP. There's an MP3 which acts as a TV tuner, I think. I never actually ever used one, but I'm pretty sure it's a TV tuner of some description. So, yeah, 128k machine, onboard sound. Um, as you can see, the volume controls at the back. I can find it. So yeah, so obviously later uh, Plus Model rectified that because the sound came out through the monitor as opposed to the uh, computer itself. But yeah, lovely piece of kit. Very happy to have it in the collection. Uh, shame there's not really much more to show you really. There's plenty of videos out there that give you more detail and specs and all. But yeah, there she is, my 6128. See you in a bit. Okay, over to the good stuff again, the games. So I'll take you through the small um, jewel cases and the small boxes, and then I'll go through some of the more obscure titles. So first up, no screenshot for this one, is uh, The Simpsons, uh, Bart vs. The Space Mutants, Arcade Conversion, Thunderblade, World Class Leaderboard. I'm sure you can see the screenshots in the back there. Back then, the screenshots weren't necessarily taken from the game. They were just taken from anything and plonked on the back of the box. It's quite misleading, really. One of my favourite games ever on the Spectrum. Absolutely love this game. Excellent. Brilliant. The Amstrad version is very good as well. I've got another classic there, Trantor. Not sure you can see the screenshots there or not. I just love this one on the Spectrum as well. Football Manager 2. Let me do that out of the way a minute. I always remember looking at the Atari ST screenshots and thinking how amazing it was when I had my Spectrum version. 
Super cycle. I feel kind of like all snug here in the corner. Road Blasters. Another game I had on a Spectrum. A lot of these games I did have on a Spectrum and I quite enjoy the comparisons or doing the comparisons between the two systems. I always remember this game in the magazines, sort of late 1986. I think it came out sometime in 86, but I was always blown away by them screenshots, even though they're probably arcade shots. And I really wanted a Spectrum at the time as well, so... Skate Crazy, another game I had on a Spectrum. Very difficult to control, but once you master it, it's good fun. A Commodore 16 game I played once upon a time at a friend's house. Trailblazer, really good game. Uh, Football Manager World Cup Edition. I don't think I ever played this. Doesn't appeal to me, to be honest. Terminator 2, which is still sealed, so sorry for the glare. And WrestleMania. Again, this one's still sealed as well. Again, I pick these games up as and when I see them, and generally they're not overly that expensive. If you're lucky, some can cost you a bomb. Right, this one here was quite hard to get, but I was quite lucky I didn't pay too much for it, and that's uh, the Sacred Arm, Sacred Arm of Antiriad. And that comes complete with this comic. Uh, big boxes now, so over to um, Afterburner. Again, a lot of these had on my Spectrum. A uh, sealed copy of Lemmings. Absolutely love this game on the Amiga. Uh, one of my more recent additions is Batman the Cape Crusader. Box conditions absolutely stonking on this. I got this from retrogames.co.uk. Um, massive retro store online. Been around for a very long time actually. So if you ever stuck for finding a game, the chances are they might have it. Uh, the classic Robocop. Again, arcade screenshots on the bottom there. The Evening Star, Southern Bell. Um, compilation. A real life simulator of British Rail. So if you want to know how fast British Rail or British trains are, play this. It'll take you just as long to get between platforms in that game than it does in real life. Now this is a classic. I used to absolutely love this game on my Spectrum. Absolutely love it. Knockout Kings 1982. Um, the racket in the background, as you can hear, is Outrun. One of the most hyped games for me in 1987 for the Spectrum. One of the most disappointing as well, I think. Another one from the same time. Uh, again, 720 degrees, if I remember rightly, on the Spectrum version was very... Um, well, it had no atmosphere, it was quite boring. about not a bad conversion on the Amstrad my last uh, pickup actually for the Amstrad CPC 6128 is Beach Volley the classic Grisor um, Run the Gauntlet kind of a multi-sport event game it was a TV program, wasn't it, back in the 80s? Now, I used to love this one as well, Combat School. What a game. Another multi-event game. One of my favourite 8-bit games of all time, Operation Wolf. Immense conversion as well on the Amstrad. Remember going around a friend's house when, during lunch hour at school playing that? Fucking brilliant. New Zealand story, um, sorry story I would say, because it's not a particularly great conversion on any 8-bit machine. What should we do now John? Rambo 3. Get a multi-part uh, film tie in there, it's not bad actually to be honest. This was just a compilation I picked up, I think I got this from France. A few games on the back of that. A lot of these games I actually do pick up from France. I mean, France was one of the most or most popular source of Amstrad um, games, actually. Done particularly well in France, didn't it, Amstrad? Guerrilla War. 
didn't pick this up long ago. In fact, this was actually advertised as Operation Wolf. But it's quite a difficult game to get. So I got it for a decent price. Now this one is probably one of the hardest games I've to get in my collection, which is Typhoon. Been after this for the Spectrum for absolutely ages. But to get it on the uh, disc is brilliant. I'm really chuffed for this one. Um, the Vindicator or Green Beret 2, I think Imagine uh, released it as. Nothing like Green Beret though. Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. Not a bad conversion. The worst Renegade made out of the three by a country mile. So Renegade, the final chapter. So the best Renegade made on the 8-bit systems. Which is Target Renegade. My favourite beat-em-up ever on the Sinclair Spectrum. Very good conversion on the... Uh, or very good version, I should say, on the Amstrad as well. Right, to so these peculiar shaped cases now. So these are quite obscure in themselves. The Great Escape. I just absolutely love that one. Again, excuse the glare. This is probably the rarest item I've got in my collection, which is Donkey Kong. So I absolutely would love to get Mario Brothers. I bet that would bloody cost a fortune, wouldn't it? Top Gun. I don't ever remember seeing those cases when they were released in the shop. So I love collecting them actually, very obscure. Yeo Kung Fu. And I'm sure some Commodore 64 disc games came out in these cases, but I don't ever... I think this was before the uh, Plus 3 ever come out. My favourite, I think, multi-sport game on the Spectrum. But yeah, fantastic game that was, absolutely fantastic. The original Batman, sort of the isometric uh, version, and a couple of compilations to finish it off. So they sold a million, number three, and they sold a million, number one. Sorry that was short and sweet, but there's the games. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, it's, it's a shame the video was so short in regards to talking about each individual game, but I didn't really want to sort of extend the video too long. So if there's anything in particular that you want me to show you or to sort of answer any of your questions, then please leave a comment below. Um, like I said, there's no end goal to this collection. It's a pretty open-ended one, to be honest with you. I never intend to collect everything for it because there's just way too much. Um, but like I said, I don't want to have too much duplication either between this and, and the Spectrum, which is the machine I would like to collect games for. Um, like I said, it's only the third video out of uh, probably over a dozen machines to show you. Um, the more and more I progress with this series, the more I can do um, pickup videos. So any new games I get now for my CPC, uh, my discs, sorry, for the CPC or GX4000 or GS games, I can now do as a collection vid. Uh, so thank you very much for taking the time out to watch it. If you do come across Mario Brothers for the Amstrad 6128 on floppy disk, please let me know. But I doubt you will. But if you do, that'd be great. Um, so until next time, thank you very much for subscribing and take care of yourselves. Bye for now.